live on Facebook from the mayor's office on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon, the 30th of March. Tomorrow is the last day of the month. Uh, we are uh, celebrating Holy Week. We're celebrating Passover. We are in the middle of uh, the beginning of spring season. Uh, and there's a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. So let me begin uh, with COVID as we typically do, because it still is out there. Uh, I issued a new emergency proclamation uh, just yesterday. Uh, the old one had lapsed and I'll be bringing the new one to the city council on Wednesday to extend it. It really updates as we continue to do, we update the rules, the regulations, the opportunities, the opening that we're beginning to experience in Santa Fe. Uh, we really can take pride in the hard work and the discipline to keep people safe that has resulted in our community becoming a turquoise county. That's a big deal. And it is very important. I was out today uh, sitting in a restaurant for the first time in a long time, enjoying a lunch with friends, six feet of distance, wearing our masks, when we weren't eating, out walking around the plaza, uh, before and after, a lot of people wearing masks, a lot of people out, the weather is lovely. We want our restaurants to come back strong. We want our retail mom and pop shops to come back strong. We're seeing our hotels beginning to get tourism and filling back up. Our great locations, our great attractions. Uh, I was over at the alley on Sunday to see the bowling going on and the folks enjoying themselves. Meow Wolf coming back strong. It's great. It's all great. The thing we need to remember is we're not out of the woods yet when it comes to COVID. Uh, so the new ordinance allows bigger gatherings. It allows more uh, people to stay in our hotels, to eat in our restaurants, to go indoors. At the same time, the mask ordinance is still in effect. We need to be cautious and optimistic at the same time. So please, when you go out, wash your hands, wear your mask, practice smart physical distancing, stay with the orders. At the same time, enjoy the beautiful spring we're having. The start of uh, the spring season is here. And it's a great time to be out and about, to go hiking, to go to the parks, to enjoy the season. So please be safe and at the same time, uh, be open to the reopening of Santa Fe. It's a beautiful thing to see. We've got to keep it going. I've got some concerns. Um, the numbers are good. As I said in my uh, proclamation, uh, the, the numbers are great. We're, we're keeping uh, open with turquoise. At the same time, there are a lot of whereases in these proclamations that say we're not out of the woods. We're seeing Across America, the numbers are going up in some states where people are not wearing masks and not taking the right precautions. We are now seeing the variants of the COVID uh, show up in states around the country. And so if we're not careful, uh, we could go back from turquoise into yellow. And then all the progress we've made, we give it back. Uh, it's not what we want, but it is a possibility it's happened in, Elsa, in other places where they opened up, they stopped wearing masks, they stopped keeping caution as part of their daily life. We can have fun and be cautious at the same time. And that said, there's good news. We're planning for the recovery. And the recovery is coming already uh, in the form of new city programs, new city money that the GRT is making available to us. And we are able to put $1.8 million into our affordable housing trust fund because our growth in our gross receipts tax is a lot stronger than we expected. The recovery is robust. And a lot of the credit goes to the governor and it goes to the president. Uh, the $1.9 trillion that the White House and the Congress put forward with the American Rescue Plan is making a big difference. I had the great joy and pleasure of being on a press availability last week with uh, Senator Ben Ray Lujan and Congresswoman 
uh, Leger Fernandez, and they were great. They know that legislation inside and out. They know how much money can be uh, allocated to things from streets and roads to daycare for moms and families to straight coming to the city. $15.4 million will be headed its way to the city of Santa Fe. Uh, so we are able now with the growth in the gross receipts tax to increase our return and recovery, our return to health, our recovery in our services and in the way in which the city feels and looks. Some things we talked about just yesterday with three of our terrific city managers, a summer recreation program that is being uh, launched right now, hiring up uh, to 80 young people to act as rec Recreation, recreation aids. Uh, about 700 kids in Santa Fe will be able to take, get the benefit and take part in our summer rec program. Safe, COVID safe, COVID appropriate, but reopening our rec programs for our young people. Restaurant expansions with outdoor dining. Uh, we've learned that people in, uh, who come here or who live here, our own folks, love eating outdoors where it's possible or in a tent if it's too windy. And so uh, Randy Randall and our team in land use and in the city clerk's office are working very hard to make sure that the experiment that we tried last summer to allow restaurants to set up in the parking areas in front of their restaurants, we're gonna continue that. We're gonna make sure that if they're in a shopping mall and there's no parking spaces, we can permit them to set up a tent and then serve people in the tent. So we're looking at ways to come back, recover, uh, be healthy, be safe, watch the economy come back strong, and not only with tourists, but with our own folks enjoying the return of Santa Fe. Uh, we have more money, we have more budget. We are now recruiting, hiring, training, new police officers. There are cadets now that the police academy run by the state is back open. We've got six cadets being trained up there. We've got uh, what are called the uh, horizontal transfers, people coming in from other departments. We're offering $15,000 in signing bonuses if people want to move over from a different uh, public safety agency, we can make that happen. At the same time, we're going to be funding a really important study that we've talked about for a couple of years, and now we've got the money to do it. It's a study about the uh, staffing level at the police department. How many police officers, how many animal control officers, how many civilians do we need in the Santa Fe Police Department to respond to the level and kinds of calls that we get every day at the police department. We've got folks working incredibly hard. The level of service, the demands for people to get out and have police officers help them is very high. I remember a year or so ago, in one year, our officers responded to 97,000 calls for service. And some of those were involving a serious crime. Fortunately, right now, serious crime is down 25% from last year. So we're making headway against those serious crimes. But a lot of the things that people are worried about or concerned about, whether it is a domestic dispute or a homeless person or somebody who has uh, now fallen and is not able to get back up, people dealing with mental and behavioral health issues, our police go out and respond to those calls. We're gonna do a study to figure out how many officers, how many civilians, how many social workers, how many people who are in the training pipeline do we really need so we can give the level of service that people in Santa Fe need and deserve. Uh, so that's good, we're making progress. Uh, we also have seen progress with the uh, COVID uh, effort. I've got some data I can share with you. As of yesterday, uh, 42, almost 43%, of Santa Fe County residents have had at least one shot. 24% of us are fully vaccinated 
and 63, almost 64% of us have registered with the Department of Health. Now, if you know somebody who hasn't registered yet, now is the time to lend a hand. Be helpful. Offer to walk them through the process. If they're not comfortable with technology or they're even uncomfortable working on the phone to get registered or they're unclear about whether it's safe, uh, it's safe. It will be just fine to get registered. And there is no danger. There is not a sense of uh, any kind of exposure. If you are here as an immigrant or you're not docu documented, you're worried about your status, getting registered will not jeopardize anything. You will, however, be in a position to get that vaccination and we need to continue to get folks vaccinated. There is free at-home testing. If you feel like you might have COVID or you're worried about testing for COVID, go to learn.vaulthealth.com backslash NM. You can get a free at-home testing kit. Costs nothing. If you're insured, your insurance covers it. If you're not insured, state covers it. We want people to get tested. Make sure you're feeling okay and you don't have COVID. We still have cases out there. We don't want to go from turquoise back to yellow. Um, other things, um, a lot of concern, I think legitimate concern, serious concern, important concern about mental and behavioral health. As we come through COVID, a lot of us have been holding ourselves tight to make sure we get through this. And now we're starting to relax a little bit and feeling a little bit more confident. As we relax, we begin to get in touch with some of those emotions, some of those fears and worries, concerns, the stress of a year of living with a pandemic. If you need help, mental health, behavioral health, or you know somebody who is really needs somebody to talk to, uh, we can help. nmcrisisline.com. nmcrisisline.com will get you or your friend the help they need. Make sure folks have somebody to talk to. Make sure folks can express their concerns and talk about stress, talk about what a tough year it's been. And it has been. We've lost friends. We've lost family. We've all suffered job loss, financial loss, serious pressure, a lot of day-to-day -day stress, disruption, separation from the people we love, Going and talking to somebody at nmcrisisline.com can make a big difference. Uh, keep registering, get vaccinated. Um, and remember, take the right precautions, stay COVID safe. A couple of other things to mention. Um, you can increase your third stimulus check by filing your tax returns now. Say it again, you can increase your third stimulus check if you file your tax return now. That's because your next stimulus check will be based on either your 2019 tax return or your 2020 return, whichever one was most recently filed and processed when the Internal Revenue Service starts processing your third stimulus check. And for many people whose income went down in 2020, that would get you a higher check. Tax Help Santa Fe provides free and low cost tax services and it will be based on your income. Go to taxhelpsantafe.com or call 505-990-7431. Okay, 505-990-7431 to get yourself some tax help and with the stimulus checks coming, it can make a difference. Get tested, go to that Vault Health website, go to the crisis hotline uh, if you need help with mental or behavioral health. Um, coming up tomorrow, we are gonna have a governing body meeting, uh, a number of very important and interesting pieces of public business. Starts at four o'clock with the afternoon session. There'll be an update on COVID. There'll be an update on the Midtown campus as well. A lot of things coming forward for the governing body to take up, including 
affordable housing legislation, uh, the disposition of uh, different city owned property. So please tune in, listen up, uh, pay attention. This is your city government at work. It's important uh, how we conduct ourselves, how we represent ourselves, how we work as a group, try to get Santa Fe headed in the right direction, headed for recovery, headed for healing. We're on the right track. We need to continue to work on moving forward along the way. We're very close to having a budget that we'll be in a position to put out. Now, that should happen uh, very shortly. Uh, and you will see in it the priorities of the last three years brought to the culmination of a fourth year budget. You'll see investment in people. You'll see investment in recreation in our land use department, in our parks department, in keeping the city safe, in keeping the city beautiful. Now, these are the basics that make Santa Fe so remarkable, so special, the city different in ways that we all appreciate and love, particularly after a year where we couldn't get out, we couldn't explore, we couldn't experience the wonders, the joy, the fun of Santa Fe. Please, as our doors open, as you get out, wear your mask, stay safe, keep the city open, keep working to support our local businesses. There is an online capability to support our local businesses. We heard from Randy Randall and tourism that there's a lot of action going on at santafemarketplace.com. A lot of individual stores and artists, artisans, craftspeople, have their beautiful work up at santafemarketplace.com. Remember, put your money where your home is. Keep it here in Santa Fe. We know there are websites out there that will take your money and send it to Seattle, send it to New York, send it to San Francisco. Let's keep it in Santa Fe. Let's keep our money right here where it can multiply, help feed families, help pay the rent, work with our community to grow and rebuild our local economy and the jobs for our own people right here in Santa Fe. Shop local, santafemarketplace.com. Uh, vaccine, vaccine registration, I mentioned that. Uh, that really is the sum of my message for you today. Uh, we are making great progress when it comes to vaccinations. We're making terrific progress getting people with medicine in their arms. There'll be another uh, big splurge coming up. There's work being, uh, being done to plan another round of vaccinations where people won't even need to make a reservation. We will have enough medicine that we can just let people come and get vaccinated. It's not ready yet, but those are the kinds of activities and events and mass vaccination activities that our leadership at the state level the regional level, the county level, the city level, our healthcare providers, they're the ones getting us the vaccine and the vaccinations we need. Uh, if you are over 75 now, you can make a reservation to get vaccinated without waiting for a, a, an event code. So things are opening up for our older residents. It's gonna happen ongoing basis. We'll see more and more people across the community with their first and then their second vaccination. Until then, and even after then, stay safe and wear your mask. We don't wanna go backward into yellow. Could happen, let's prevent it. Let's be safe, let's be cautious, let's stay optimistic, let's enjoy the reopening of Santa Fe without sacrificing our health and our safety. That's about it for today. I appreciate you watching. I will see you later on in the week. I hope you watch or listen tomorrow night at the uh, governing body meeting. This is your city government at work. This is our effort to solve problems for you, to take action in the use of our resources and our talented employees so that the city looks better, it feels better, it is a, it's a great experience as we get out of our homes, we go back to our mom and pop favorite places to shop. Uh, we can enjoy Santa Fe, we can look at the medians and say, Somebody's out there working. Somebody's out there making them look great. Go into the parks. Our teams are making them safe, making them look nice, prepping the ball fields, 
Those are your city employees getting Santa Fe beautiful and ready and open for recovery and health in the spring. So till I see you again later in the week, uh, please take care of yourself and your family. Let's all take care of our community. Let's celebrate Holy Week and Passover. Let's recognize the deep spiritual, religious traditions that are undergirding Santa Fe as a community and be uh, very, very mindful of the teachings of our religious heritages to love our neighbor as ourself, take care of each other, to be loving and compassionate. That's how we've made it through COVID. That's how we've taken care of each other like a family. That's how we've looked after each other like a loving family. We're not quite out of it yet, but we're making remarkable progress. So please stay safe, stay open. We'll do it together. I will see you at the end of the week. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mayor. Let's end the meeting. Let's end the uh, session.